In this lesson, I will do a very quick and pleasant introduction to Drupal views. The intention is to give you a big picture view. Everything that is mentioned in this lesson will be covered in depth in subsequent videos. Drupal views is a tool that helps you create, manage, and display lists of content. Special attention is on the word lists. You already know how to display different pieces or pages of content, but Views allows you to create lists of content. As simple as it sounds, Views is an essential part of any site building. And if you want to, you can create complex custom visuals with it also. Whenever I refer to the word Views with a capital V, I'm referring to the tool itself. The actual content or list that you create will also be called views. And in that case, I will use all small letters as this is common convention. Historically, views were an additional module that you had to explicitly add. But now due to its importance, it has been made an integral part of Drupal core itself. So you will already have it in your installation. The interface, through which you will do all of this is called the Views UI, and it is also prepackaged in the Drupal core. We will see it pretty soon. Now, let's see when you will typically use Views. Literally any type of listings page will be built with Views. There's no limit. And I have listed some examples here. The products listing, users listing, offerings, listings of your company, lists of waterfalls, and so on, can be built with views. Instead of a page, if you want to build a block of lists, then you can also use views. The default Drupal front page itself is a view. And if you want to slightly modify it, you should use views. These are some examples. There are many more you will encounter in real life site building. Why would you use views instead of say, writing custom code of your own? The simple answer is that views are WYSIWYG. That is, what you see is what you get. It's an easy visual interface for a non-programmer. Additionally, writing custom code means several maintenance complications. That's why you should give first preference to views. The views interface is located at the path structure and then views. Here is a very quick look of what the views page will look like. Now, you may be wondering, where can I see views in action? Actually, Drupal core comes with several views, which you have already seen without knowing that they were views. These will be discussed in later videos. And so with that, we come to the conclusion of this video. I have given a bird's eye view of a complex topic so that when we look at actual details, you should be able to relate to the big picture. And so let's move on to the next video. See you there.